Okay, seeing none, uh, at this point, is there any, uh, does any of the members of the board want to add anything as an additional discussion item to the agenda? Yeah, I'd like to add, uh, talking about the pay to play and the discount, the status of all that analysis. Okay. All right, anything else? Did we add what John was talking about at the end of the last closed session about uh, what yeah. the community says, visitor comments? Did we add that too? Uh, we did not. You mean after we left closed session and went back into open? Yeah. Okay. He asked, uh, there was a question about responding to uh, citizen comments about, uh, <coughs> because some of it dealt with the personnel matter in regards to staffing for the nurse's office. Yeah. Um, we, we addressed it in closed session, but it, uh, you would well, you would have thought people would have liked to have heard that we're looking at it and studying it. So if you want that to be. I think it's just more in general. Okay. Well, see, this, the way this is set up now, adding the. Uh, a discussion item after someone talks it gives an opportunity to do what, exactly what I just said. Okay. So. okay. All right. See anything else? Do you, uh, I just have a question on the you know with the tennis because it was in our packet on the tennis court. So do we need it's to put an it agenda on? Item. It's an agenda. It's agenda. Item. Item. Okay. Okay. So, uh, moving on now to uh, our district goals and progress monitoring. This should be the final draft. Uh, you know, you unless anybody wants, but the, are all the uh, you know the goals are set to that we get a hundred percent of everybody operating at college and a career readiness. Um, we understand that some of these targets are lofty, but the goal is to try to show growth every year. And what we're going to start working towards is in October when we report out on this, or when the information becomes due, we can kind of provide a general update on all four classes uh, so we can kind of get uh, lay the table for the next year and to see how our students are doing and we can start hopefully tracking this on the uh, web page under uh, more of like a dashboard uh, for the district um, we added the community uh, the bottom one the communications identify means to elicit and record community feedback and dialogue we're looking on a mass emailing system for community members that are not parents uh, similar to an Excel so we're investigating that right now with Mike Connors and Alicia Duell uh, during my district technology meetings. Um, we've issued some s surveys and stuff like that, so we'll have an opportunity to report out of that. Um, but if the board doesn't have any final feedback, which I'm hoping I think we've wrapped up, we should be able to vote on these. And now and it kind of ties in. We, we took it a little longer than I would have planned on the operational calendar, but the idea is, is that these goals are set, so now we, as we move into staffing and budgeting, we're budgeting for initiatives and, and, and strategies and staffing that will directly impact these goals. So when we come up to some things uh, during budgeting time uh, or staffing time and they don't fit directly into these goals, they should kind of go to a tier two. And we should address trying to staff and budget and do those things for all of our tier one, which are on uh, the chart. A question. Uh, not not that I would uh, propose to change anything on here now because I think it's pretty well set, but in the future, uh, based on uh, Senate Bill 7 and PARA and some of the things, the programs that we're going to have to enact as far as uh, evaluations and things like that, do you foresee new lines of, um, of engages of measurement that would be important to us in the future? Probably not. Those are more just operational duties that you would want to hold the superintendent and my administrative staff into compliance issues, but they're not something that would be tracking growth or progress of the district. Yeah. You know, and like we implemented the new Senate Bill 7 administrator evaluations this year. Um, so how we had that how many teachers got excellence and things like that? Um, Adequates? We, we did not know. I'm saying this year we did the Senate Bill 7 principal, the administrative evaluations for principals and assistant principals. Right. We won't be able to start doing the Senate Bill 7 uh, teacher evaluation stuff until that comes oh, in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's During why the new collective bargaining agreement. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if that should be a dashboard of how many teachers get excellence or proficiency. We yeah. want to make sure, you know, because of course we'd all want to be excellent, but we want to make sure that we're growing teachers. Yeah. 
so well, eventually uh, your constituency would be curious about that. Uh, yeah, I mean that might be something we report out. Yeah, you know, but I don't know if that's something we would want to do. It's up to the board. I would get, I would say. Well, I think you're a year off at least on uh, yeah. putting it in there. Okay, so you're going to bring these goals up to be voted on at the March meeting. March meeting is just a formality of voting on them, and then this way we we kind of have a. Uh, okay. I can ask a question again. And it's a question I asked before, but I want to make sure it's sinking in for myself. If I use science ACT benchmark 100% graduating class greater than equal to 24, it's, we're only at 47%. So based on what you said, and I look at the other three elements, we're at 85, 68, 66, and 47. It's crazy. So it's crazy. what do we need? To, is there, what, you know, how, how do these goals convert to some plan to say at least you know, let's maybe we can get up to fifty percent on science somehow. What I mean, what what I'm hoping what are we that doing to uh, specifically on science, which is our lowest. Right. So that what I think by using this format for the goals mm -hmm. is the board wants to see growth. Right. And when I sit down with Pam and I do her evaluation and we set goals, for, uh, as, as when I work with my administrative team, Pam would identify with me and with her with Kristen as the curriculum department chair, and maybe with the science department chairs what are we going to do to start tra addressing that 47 and then what I'm hoping is through those goal meetings with my staff is that they'll come back to me and say hey listen we want one of the things we want to do is maybe go uh, attack all of our freshman biology classes with a 25 to 1 average or we want to put in more extended periods and they're going to come up with strategies and then we have to we'll discuss and figure out do we can we budget that do we staff that um, you know some things of that nature and so that you'll be doing that still this spring in preparation for next year. Right. Something that would, and again, I'm just picking that one out because it happens to be the lowest. Part. Right. And then what would happen is, is we, as we do those explore and plan scores, hopefully with some of these strategies that the building's bringing forward to me, is we can start showing some of the growth. And then I would come back to the board and say, here are the resources we need to try to continue this growth and, and on these targets or why we're going backwards. Okay. Well, I also think, too, which I think is really positive, is how they're tracking by class. Instead of come up and say, here, at the end, this is what they finish up to be, to be able to do that, so. Yeah. All right. So the, the process is staff work. And as a board, these are the outcomes that we monitor. So next year, if it drops. You'd want to know why? Then we yeah. would, then we might ask the question, what insights do you have on the process you were using? Right. But the staff will manage their process in order to make these outcomes uh, move in the direction we hope they move. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, next item on our agenda. Hold on a second. Okay. Do we have some sub, <laughs> sub goal analysis in here, Kevin, we talked about? Yes. I mean, how are we, we going to we, quantify we wanna, that? What we want to do, John, is that so that this is a, we're, we're staring at the end. In education, you always want to start with the end in mind. So the goal is what we're going to accomplish in four years. So these, a lot of these pertain to when students graduate, how many have they passed an AP course? Are they off to a two or four year or military? Um, were they engaged in at least one activity? Um, how they were college and career ready? A majority of those tie to uh, where they're at at the end of their four years. When Pam reports out in October uh, on these goals, she'll be able to tell you how the freshmen are doing and where their, where their test scores at the end of their freshman year are projecting them to be at the, at the end of their senior year. Sophomores on the plan, juniors on the ACT, seniors. So yes, there will be sub goals, but I don't think we want to list out every sub goal for. Sure, right. I just don't. Yeah, there's a four. We're tracking them from freshman year to senior year. Sure. Okay, anything else?